Welcome back, awesome action toy fans and subscribers. Today I'm looking at uh, my this is my third review, I think, of the Spirio, the Animal Wars of the Kingdom. This is Belarus or Belarus or Belarus. Um, I've actually got two of these in UK, which I've never touched because I haven't been back there in two years now because of COVID. Uh, and so I decided to buy another one because I think I think it's really cool. Plus the fact you've got great. It's a fantasy figure, but you can use it for custom parts for a sci-fi back running figure because you can still put the spare arm in and change the head wraps. So I think it's a really, really lovely looking figure. I've seen a couple of reviews before. Um, one by Scallywags. If you're not, if you haven't found Scallywags yet, find Scallywags and subscribe to his channel. Very good 118 stuff as well. Um, looks really cool. I'm looking forward to this. Let's open him up, turn the camera around, and let's take a closer look. So, back in an instant. So, here he is, released from his plastic prison, and he looks really, really nice. Now, it'd be nice if there was dry brushing on him. That's something you can do if you do yourself. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. Some patterning on the chest there, basic. Um, not much paint work. You've got the silver on the eye there. And that's on, no, no, I'm knocking at my door. Sorry about that. That was a, another delivery just come to the house, which is nice. So that's for another toy haul uh, at a later date. So here he is. You see my little submarine in the background over there. Um, looks fantastic. Let me just get this camera sorted out a slightly better angle, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, that's better. He looks really quite nice. I like the look of this. He's got these really nice bare feet. His legs do look a bit skinny, I will say. He skipped leg day. Don't, probably don't have squat machines in the bear gym, but his upper body is proper pench, proper butch. So as I said before, he comes as alternate arms. If you do take off his uh, metallic arm, you do get a nice spare bear arm. He also comes with alternate feet and the alternate head. Now the nice thing is, the feet, the head rather, you can see here, is ball-like. And the feet are hoof-like, so you can change from bare feet to hoof feet. So in effect, with my three, I could have, you know, three setups. Uh, you could get more than that because you can change the arms, change the heads, you get quite a lot of setups. Very, very nice looking figure indeed. Let's have a look at his articulation. Let's just pop him down from his little pedestal there. So he can look left and right. He has an up and a down. There is a nice side to side, very nice side to side. In fact, I wasn't expecting that very very good uh arm this one goes all the way around a bit stiff this one also goes all the way around Ugh. shoulders goes up nice and high on both Rawr. pretty cool bicep bend this will be interesting to see how they both do he gets about just under 90 perhaps on his left on his bare arm and his robotic arm gets 90, just a touch more, which is nice. This is a ball on the wrist, but there is a little um, plate there which stops it going backwards more. You could shave it off if you wanted to get more articulation. And this is just a wave ugh, articulation and twist. Trunk, forwards, backwards, really nice forwards, backwards, really nice side to side, and he can turn. There's no waist, legs, he doesn't do bare yoga, I can see, don't go very far apart, but that's just a minor thing, uh, forwards is damn impressive, backwards he can do a bare splits, so that's pretty good, uh, he has double kneecaps, really tight bend, there's a boot twist, which is fantastic, there's no swivel, it appears. Um, does he get a tippy toe? Let's have a look. And he does get a bit stiff, but he gets a tippy toe. Which is not great, but it's nice to have. And he gets a really good dorsiflexation, though. Tee -hee. Here's Michael Jackson. Decent articulation. Just that twist on the foot would make it almost perfect. But I think he's a fantastic figure. I really like him. I'm glad I've got a two in UK and now I've got one here as well. Particularly since I'll be taking this uh, metallic 
cybernetic robot arm off of him and using it in another custom, I'm sure. He is fantastic. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to pop the arm off, replace it with the other arm. And actually, let me see how easy it is to change his little attachments on his hand because he comes with this like, almost like cutting claw and this like saw. Bzzz. This should just be pop, I'm hoping. Yeah, very easy to pop off the hand, but I do prefer the hand. Very easy to pop on the claw, which does look pretty good as well. And again, the last one, the saw, is very easy to just oh, pop on. So now you can zzz, You've come for your dentist appointment. Zzz, zzz. Very easy to pop him on again. In fact, he has, it's articulation on his robot arm goes both ways. There's no stop. I would prefer a stop for an elbow joint, but still, still looks pretty damn good. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this quickly, change his arm over, see how hard that is, and I'll come back and we'll have a look at him in his full-on bear mode. So back in an instant. So here he is with the bear arm. I will say that was a little bit more difficult than I'd have liked to have popped that uh, out. That was hot water treatment, quite a lot of hot water treatment to get that to come off. Uh, but it came in the end. In fact, his head just dropped off without doing anything uh, because of the hot water. It's on nice and tight now, and the other arm is... In, I just noticed to push it slightly more. There we go. Now it's just clicked in place. There we go. He looks fantastic. Let me give you an idea of scale. I'll compare him to some other figures. So let's take a big figure first of all. Let's take one of the Joy Toy Space Marines. If you've got these already, fantastic. If you're not, I hope you place an order with a Games Workshop because you will love them when they're coming out and they've got more stuff coming soon. And you can see that he is slightly taller than a uh, Joy Toy X Warhammer Space Marine, a Joy Toy crossover with Warhammer Space Marine. Uh, he does scale well with it. Uh, let's take a couple of Fortnite figures. Here's my custom knight who's fantasy, who I keep saying I'll finish one day, and he's practically done, just a few minor things and painting to do. And you see that he towers above him. Um, I will use the Paradigm, who's an amazing new figure as well. He looks pretty awesome. He towers above her as well. And obviously he's just very broad and chunky. And then one more, I use a Marvel Infinite Series figure. Uh, let's stick him in here. This, this is a tall one. But again, he's very sort of fantasy looking. Let's have a look. Scale as well, but now he doesn't look so tall, even though he's very broad, because this figure here is just massive too. So this is a fantastic Auron figure, and I love the fact that you can repackage it very easily into its original backing with backing board. There's no damage to that when you un when you undo it and you get the figure out, because it's using a uh, Boss Fight Studios method, which is really nice. You can just slide out the backing board, take your figure out, and then start playing, start posing, start wearing. Great one figure, I really recommend this one a lot. I think it looks fantastic, plus you get the choice of making another looking animal figure, plus you get the uh, robotic cybernetic arm. You can even have him if you want with his uh, sort of metallic arm power piece, whatnot, going in the back tech piece. Though you won't look quite as fantasy now, look a bit strange having this sort of control panel. There is a little uh, pin that goes in the back. A little bit difficult to line up. That's what I'm trying to do now. But let me just get this in and we can have a quick look. There we go. So it looks a bit strange having that on there like that. But that can do too if you want to get another look in your figure as well. Great figure. Highly recommended. I do suggest you buy at least two like I've done. Well, I've got three now. Uh, maybe more because the possibilities for different looking figures and for customization are really big of this one. Great job again by these guys. And if you haven't gone to the figures yet, I suggest you do so. And they've got a six inch line coming out soon as well. Okay, this is Awesome Action Toys. Please click on the notification icon and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll be back soon with more Awesome Action Toy video reviews for you guys. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye bye.